Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're going to look at the new Jet Setter campaign from Paul Ruccio and Expert Playing Card Company. All right, so what are the Jet Setters? Uh, if you don't know, I've done quite a few Jet Setter uh, reviews in the past. I've been with uh, Paul since the very beginning. Love this deck, love this brand. Can't say enough good things about it. So if you were part of the project last time and you saw the Altitude Blue cards, it was very popular. It continued to gain uh, popularity even through the Kickstarter and, and even on till today. There's not a lot of Altitude Blue left. And so, uh, you know, if you were gonna make a poker set of cards, you definitely want a red deck and a blue deck. And so since Altitude Blue came out last year, uh, now you are getting restricted red. Now it's not a traditional red, it's not a uh, bright, uh, like crimson red, it's more of a dark, uh, deeper, more blood red color. And this color, this colorway comes from uh, the inspiration behind the most secret airline in the US. So uh, apparently there's a secret airline that transports the employees of Area 51 from Las Vegas directly to Area 51 and their airplanes have no markings on them except for a red stripe that goes down the side of the plane. And this red stripe influenced Paul to uh, pick that as his color for the new restricted red jet setters. The tuck case looks very similar to the altitude blue that came out last year. However, it's done in the new color. Uh, the front of this is all textured. It's all embossed with little tiny airplanes. It does say jet setter playing cards across the front, luxury brand and quality decks. Uh, the tuck case continues to have a very vintage very classy feel, uh, but also modern. And I think that once you hold it in your hand and you like tip it at the right angle, you're gonna notice that clear UV spot coating uh, and you see the little pattern of airplanes that's found, found on the front. And I think furthermore, uh, if you've ever had the expert decks before and held their synthetic stock tucks, uh, they are durable. They're way more durable than a standard tuck case. You can't tear them. It's fine if you get them wet. Uh, they feel papery smooth and yet sturdy and strong at the same time. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. Like I said earlier, this is a prototype. Okay, it's a prototype, so I can't really talk about thickness or how the cards feel. These aren't the cards that you will get uh, when these are printed. So these, this prototype isn't even from experts. So that doesn't really do you any good. What you want to know is, how do they look? Are they cool looking? And they are. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Jet Setters, uh, please let me introduce them to you. Look at this uh, beautiful back design. You got this super small razor edge thin uh, border there. So you have a nice white poker border, which is great for magicians, great for gambling, great for flourishing. Uh, you have that uh, really uh, fun uh, repeated background of a bunch of little planes going left and right. And that uh, and the, even with the way that they're angled, it's reminiscent of a casino back. So it looks like a poker back type card. So again, great for people who do poker demonstrations, great for people who do magic, people who do gambling uh, sets, or anybody who just wants a really cool deck of cards. The inside logo is the same logo that's on the back design. It is the Jet Setter uh, brand, and it is repeated on the top and bottom, and it is a two-way image. In the past, Paul made uh, the Joker's boarding passes. Okay, they were like little boarding passes because it's an airplane theme, you know, it's an airplane deck. And so that was fun. If you ever been to the air airport, you know, you get the little paper boarding pass. And so still unsure what Paul will do going forward with this campaign. I think right now he has these on his Kickstarter, but I know he's in discussions with people and talking about, you know, what would be fun, what would be original or unique to this deck, to this theme. And so uh, right now, it could be the, the um, boarding passes, but who knows? The fun thing about the aces uh, with the Jet Setters is that Paul makes all his center pips really large. So he doesn't uh, give you small aces, he gives you big, nice, exploded aces, not just for the Ace of Spades, but for all four. The Ace of Spades has the Jet Setter logo, it's done in the restricted red color, and then the rest of the aces, like I said, are more exploded and larger facing. If you are fortunate enough to get the Altitude Blue deck, uh, all of Paul's courts were uh, in a blue shade, with silver accents. And so the restricted red deck uh, 
uh, all the quartz have red colorings. Overall, like I said, it's just a super fun deck. Um, great feeling, great handling. I love the Altitude Blue deck. It's one of my favorite decks. Uh, I still have a brick of them at my house that I go to all the time. Can't wait to see this printed and in every single one of our hands. Uh, hey, go down to Kickstarter right now. Check out Paul's Kickstarter. You definitely want to give him some love. Uh, definitely want to back this for one or two or three or, you know, several bricks of cards. Uh, go give him some love and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.